Alright, this video will demonstrate the features of the internal relays. Now you can see here the first selector switch will put on the first output, this light here. Second one does this one. Third one and fourth one. Now if I turn on the the selector switches one at a time. They each turn it on and of course they turn it off correspondingly. Now if we were to use our internal relays we can change that. So we might have selector switch 1 and selector switch 2 uh, control output 1. And we can do this just by reprogramming. Okay, so if I want to add some internal relays, right now each input is turning on uh, one output and we can set it up differently. So we could copy this instruction and paste it on this line. So now selector switch 1 and 2 will need to be on. And in this line here, we could set it up where, again, we can paste that first one and we can also copy this one. So now, for the third light to be on, we need all three to be on. And notice that we're not changing any wires here. So on the last one, we'll get them all. All has to be on. So there's one, so we have three, one, zero, and we just need two over here. And of course if we wanted to, we could put them all in order. Now we'll, we're going to go back and uh, load this program into the PLC and we'll watch the changes. Now that we've modified the program, you can see if we turn on the first one, we're fine. Uh, that's the way we had it set up before. But now, if I turn that off, I turn selector switch 2 on before this output here used to come on right away. Now it will not until both are on. And you can see here now that these two selector switches are on, I'll turn the third one and it'll come on. But if either one of these are off, it won't come on until all three are satisfied. And same with the fourth one they're all on now but I could turn one off or this one off or that one off and it'll turn that light off now you can see the advantages of doing this and there was no external wiring taking place the, these relays are all done internally that's a really good advantage to PLCs